Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula One 2023. To go back at your question, the most inspiration. LCR Honda has officially confirmed that Johan Zarco will join its MotoGP team on a two year deal. Zarco, who presently races for Pramac Ducati, had already announced his plans on Sunday evening in Austria. The Frenchman said his choice was either to extend for a single year with Ducati, but perhaps switch to another team and then move to World SBK for 2025, or take up the new two-year MotoGP project with Honda, which Zarco said includes an option for 2026. Upon welcoming Zarco, LCR Honda team principal Lucio Seconelli confirmed that the 33-year-old will be racing in Castrol colors, and therefore be a direct replacement for Alex Rins, who is leaving for Monster Yamaha. To go back at your question, the most we are very excited to welcome Johan to the LCR Honda Castrol team with all the respective details and signatures now in place, Seconello said. It is a return to the team after we had some brief time together in 2019, where we could already see his potential and work ethic. There are still a lot of races and work to be done this season, but we are looking forward to the start of this new project in 2024. At the Red Bull ring, Zarco stated that he would sign with HRC and LCR but didn't completely exclude the chance he might one day be moved to Repsol Honda, where Marc Marquez and Joan Mir are out of contract at the end of 2024. Yes, the contract is with HRC, and with Seconello, because it's the seat of Seconello at the moment. Maybe I will be the first to be surprised if something changes, and this would be a good surprise for my career. Takaki Nakagami currently rides the LCR team's other, Ida Mitsubact, machine. Ciao ragazzi, fine settimana, cominciato in maniera molto difficile il venerdì. On the other hand, Ducati have again reiterated that Marco Bezzecchi deserves a factory bike for the 2024 MotoGP season, but that he must move to Pramac for that to happen. Bezzecchi, who rebounded with a podium finish during the Austrian MotoGP after being taken out in the sprint, is expected to remain at Muni VR46 next season. That would mean Bezzecchi remains aboard a year-old spec Ducati, as opposed to jumping aboard the Italian manufacturer's latest machine which will go the way of their two factory and Pramac riders due to contractual obligations. Speaking to gpone.com, Gigi Dulligna said, there really isn't much room for maneuver in this sense. For us, Marco deserves a factory bike because he has shown that he has the talent and ability, however, our offer has its limits. We have agreements and the factory bikes are in the Pramac team, we couldn't do anything about this. Following two DNFs one of which was his mistake at Silverstone and the other being down to a turn one collision in the sprint in Austria, Bezeki's title hopes needed a big boost during Sunday's race. Starting seventh, Bezeki managed to make light work of the riders around him before passing Alex Marquez for P3, with just a few laps remaining. After the sprint where there was this big chaos in the beginning I couldn't show my potential unfortunately, added Bezeki. So in the race I was very charged up to bounce back and show my potential. It was not easy from 7th position because in the qualifying I was maybe a bit too nervous and tried a bit too much. I made so many mistakes in my best lap. I started in the back but did the same strategy as the sprint. I was pushed wide by Maverick again, but fortunately without any touch. It was not his fault because he was already in the middle of the group. On the other hand, Valentino Rossi has called for Pramac Ducati to sign up Franco Morbidelli. Morbidelli will be replaced at Yamaha by Alex Rins for the 2024 MotoGP season and currently has no place confirmed. Rossi has now stepped in with an idea of how to rescue the premier class career of one of the four VR46 Academy graduates on the grid. It would be fantastic for Franco to go to Pramac, Rossi told Sky. He would also ride a factory bike. It would be a great possibility. Franco was good at Yamaha, in the second year he beat Fabio Quartararo and became runner-up in the world championship. Yamaha's technical delay is making them pay. Morbidelli can win races, the best thing for him is to get on a Ducati.
Morbidelli, after finishing 11th at the Austrian MotoGP, was asked about his future. Valentino said it all, I agree with him, he replied. You need to be patient. Please relax. After Rins quit LCR Honda to replace Morbidelli at Yamaha, Johan Zarco left his Promax seat to replace Rins. The current vacancies for the 2024 season are both within the Ducati setup. Promac, who benefit from a latest spec as Mercedesi, is sure to be a coveted position. And Grazzini Racing, if they dispense with Fabio Di Antonio as expected, will become a possibility. On the other hand, KTM reportedly want to sign Marc Marquez and give him a rebranded MV Augusta in 2025. KTM has a 25% stake in MV Augusta and so, if they were to acquire extra grid slots, might choose to rebrand some RC16S in the same way that Tech 3 races with Gaskus colors. However, since the bikes would still presumably be full RC16S, it would not solve KTM's current sticking point with Dorna, which is reserving the ex-Suzuki grid slots for a new manufacturer. And if KTM were to modify the RC16 enough to count as a new constructor, Marc Marquez would be unlikely to want to ride it. The intriguing theory was reported by DAZN during the Austrian MotoGP the home race for KTM and for Red Bull, who separately sponsored both the manufacturer and Marquez. Do you know what KTM's dream is? Do you know what marketing exercise KTM really wants to do in the future? Having Marc Marquez on an MV Augusta, explains journalist Ricard Jove. That's the play they'd like and it can be. What remains to be seen is to what extent the championship can allow KTM to be painted, as in, MV Augusta or to make a bike significantly different from the KTM. But that is the objective and I think it is a very good marketing exercise if it is achieved. That's where the shots of the future go or that's where they will go. This is my opinion based on certain information, but it is my opinion. The Red Bull link is one reason why Marquez and KTM have long been linked with joining forces. The Spaniard praised KTM for its progress earlier this week and claimed that the Austrian factory, currently second to Ducati in the constructors, will soon be number one. His contract with Honda runs until the end of 2024 and he has previously stated his intention to honor it. From 2025 he will be a free agent and KTM have an obvious interest in him. KTM also hope to have more than four bikes on the MotoGP grid by 2025.